a lot of upcoming business analysts are concerned about which skills they need to have on their resume to put their best foot forward. This video is, or is going to try to organize that software into software categories. Um, and for each category, I'll kind of discuss the skill and give a few examples of actual software. But because of the speed at which software is often updated and new software enters the market, I'm not going to go too deep into specific software. General modeling software for a business analyst is software specifically for creating visual models. Um, if you break it down to their bare bones functionality, it is using shapes, words, and lines to make information easier to digest. Because of this, most modeling tools are capable of executing many different types of models, data models, process models, uh, decision models, mind maps, concept maps, and many more um, can usually be done within just the one tool. Visio is the Microsoft standard. Um, but it can be a little bit pricey for around $500 for the pro version. Um, and this is because most business professionals who use this are usually going to have their company pay for it. Uh, Lucid Charts is another one um, that I've worked with a lot after I switched from a PC to a MacBook because Visio doesn't work on a MacBook. Um, it has many built-in templates to get you started and moving right away. Um, it does have license tiers, so there is a free version, um, but in order to get all the features, you will have to pay for the licensing. Draw.io is totally free, um, and it has a pretty extensive set of modeling capabilities. It integrates easily with many different cloud environments like Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Jira, and a bunch of other BA documenting software, so it actually makes it a pretty good contender, especially if funding is an issue for you. For this category, it doesn't matter which software you used, what matters is you can execute diagrams within them. Most of them work roughly the same. So if you can use one, you could probably use them all. I recommend taking a course or training in as many of these different techniques as possible um, because each technique kind of forces you to think about the information in a different way. So the more your brain has access to, the better. Next up is data analysis software. Data analysis software is another software category that is really intended to help you obtain actionable, actionable knowledge from a bunch of data. The most basic data analysis tool is Microsoft Excel. I call it basic because most people have access to it. As a software, it is not basic at all. Excel is a powerful data analysis tool that most people don't know how to fully utilize. At a bare minimum, you should be able to use basic fun functions to summarize and compare data that are a little bit more expansive than just like basic arithmetic, like adding a column or something like that. If you haven't already, I highly recommend taking a course in Excel. I'm sure there are some great free ones out there on YouTube. Uh, it'll make you a generally more efficient business analyst. Next up is SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, and most heavy-duty databases use some version of it. Um, SQL or SQL, as a lot of people call it, can be more technical in nature than Excel, and it is valuable because in a database, data can exist in a bunch of different places, and being able to put it together in a different in different ways um, that add value can make you a much more valuable make you much more valuable as a business analyst. I've used MySQL in the past, which is free. Um, I've also used Oracle SQL. On the other side of the data analysis software coin is data visualization, which is typically less technical in terms of learning a language, um, but usually requires you to have a solid grasp on concepts of data analysis, as well as what data is available to you. It can't, most of these tools can't be smart for you. Tableau is a big player here, um, and they have a free version that you could play with and even connect it to something like an Excel document to kind of like see what the features are and get familiar with the tool. Finally is what I'll call communication software. Um, this is the most generic category, um, but also the most universal. It is a software you would use to communicate the analysis that you've done. For the most part, it means word processors like Microsoft Word or presentation software like PowerPoint. If you can be well organized using a word processor, then you won't you likely won't have any issue documenting requirements requirements in really any requirement software. Um, if you think of all the different features you could potentially use in Word to make information easier to comprehend, like bullet points, numbered lists, tables, fonts, weights, etc. Almost every requirements documenting tool uses the same features with similar icons, so it's easier for you to learn how to use them. Um, and if you end up working in a company that uses a specific software to manage or collaborate on requirements like Confluence, you'll likely not have a super hard time grasping them um, if you're efficient in Word and PowerPoint. So to recap that, if you want to put your best foot forward, you should focus on building your 
visual modeling software skills, your data analysis software skills, and your communication software skills like Word and PowerPoint. Um, and if you have any additional questions um, about anything else, let me know in the comments, whether it's about um, software skills or really anything related to business analysts. And I'll either answer you there or create a whole new video just like this one. So subscribe to see those questions get answered. And thanks for watching.